Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yasha Allah, kohlo yimla. Yahweh yeah, bahashim, Yahweh yeah, shai bahashim. Rekha hakodas. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well by the Spirit. Taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to the Aki Menachwa. That's all here. Sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh bahashim, Yahweh shai to the best of their ability. This is Yahweh Noah. Just coming at you with another quick lesson. And praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, I don't know why they have this entitled COVID, but it's from the Daily Mail. Of course, they, you know, they, you know, they put things together. We know what it is. So, but it's, it's about the, the, the monkey thingy thingy, you know, the orangutan, that, that silverback gorilla that they talking about over there in Africa. So this is from the Daily Mail. It says Pope Francis declares spread of the M. POX, a global health emergency as Africa is finally set to receive the first batch of VACCINESs. You know what that is, that jump shot, right? So it's a few things in the article that, you know, stick out, but we already know what it is, man. That's why we say, um, let me grab a quick scripture real quick. Uh, let's see here. Matter of fact, yeah, let's get um that second Corinthians, no second, yeah, second Corinthians um twenty eleven. I'll read it in a few different versions. It's pretty much about the same, but you know, give a little more clarity. Uh, second Corinthians twenty eleven, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. See, we're not ignorant of the fact that okay, it's election time. You know, it's about to get cold. Of course, you know what I'm saying. Um, they generally offer those jump shots around um. You know, the time of the fall, you know, when people start to kind of get those little sniffles and things of that little, you know, the F U the F L U type symptoms, you know what I'm talking about, you know, or just C O L D symptoms, <laughs> you know. Um, but in the NLT, the New Living Translation, it says, So that Satan would not outsmart us, for we are not for we are familiar with his evil schemes. So we're we're familiar with the way this man gets down that's if you you're in this truth and the spirit is dealing with you man because the lord he's going to show you on a day-to-day -day basis you know what i'm saying especially if you're reading that's why the scriptures talks about uh, blessed is the man that read because the lord said to watch and pray he said to measure thou the time diligently so if you're doing that what you're going to see is things starting to add up like you know we we see how he moves the lord is going to show you how your enemy moves you know what i'm saying and then when you see it you you instantly know then you, you then we report on it. You know, we warn the flock like hey, danger's coming, you know. So now. I want to read a couple of different versions of this. You got the BBE. I'm not sure exactly what that stands for exactly. So that Satan may not get the better of us, for we are not without knowledge of his designs. That's a good one. And we're not. We're not we're, this man, he's been running the same play for, for the longest. It's just that. People get caught up in, you know, I mean, he, he he's he's expert at that play. It's just <laughs> it's almost like a, a, a unstoppable play that he's been pushing. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, has set the men up to watch, you know, as watchmen. But we, we can see through the play. We know when he's running it. You know, it's like, you know, you're watching a football game. You got a coach and he's like, oh, they're running this. They're running that. And they'll switch up somewhere, yell something, you know, audible, whatever the case may be. You know, and, and and they counter that 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 particular play, and that's pretty much what we do in the spirit. Um, you got the ERV version, easy to read version. I did not, I did this so that Satan would not win anything from us. We know very well what his plans are. See, that's a good one too. We know very well what his plans are. The good um, word translation says, "I don't want Satan to outwit us." After all, we are not ignorant about Satan's scheming. See? So, this is all pretty much crafty shit. And, and we'll see how it flows. But I wanted to mention this because when you get the Pope talking shit, when the Pope is out here addressing stuff, then, then, you, then you know, that, that's a part of um, crafty counsel. That's pretty much a scheme of theirs. It, it's not going to be no problem because I'm not sure how many... Catholics is, it is in the, in the world, but it's, it's the shit is it's it's quite a bit. <laughs> it's millions, man. It's millions and millions of people that that 
that listen to what this man says and he can say, hey, look, you need to line up and do this, 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 this and this. And a lot of people are going to do it. And especially Northern Kingdom, our um, Israel, Israelites, you know, from the Northern Kingdom, man. You know, because they're they're heavy into um, that Mother Mary spirit and they're heavy into um, kissing the hand of the Pope and all this other silly shit, man. And it's really idolatry. You know, but our people are are, are deep and in, in, in saturated in, in some of this stuff, man. So we have to warn our people. Hey, look, when you get leaders like this talking shit, beware. OK, it says the Pope has declared the deadly outbreak of the MPOX, a global health emergency. Who are you to to um, declare it as being that you're not a fucking doctor? Who gave you the message to pass on? Did, did, did who call you up and say, hey, you need to um, do a, 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 you know, an international message, you know, and we know how they go, how, how they get now. You ain't no telling how they'll spend this. See, because see who you got involved here, who the World Health Organization also declared the outbreak of a new strain. It's always a new strain, a global health emergency earlier this month as African countries such as the Democratic Republic of Congo, the DRC, saw cases soar. Pope Francis mentioned the MPOX during his weekly Sunday prayer. See? Speaking in St. Petersburg Square, the pontiff said, I pray for all the infected people, in particular the population of Democratic Republic of Congo so affected. I express my closeness to the local churches, much touched, most touched by this disease. MPOX is a potentially deadly virus that causes flu-like symptoms, okay, followed with painful pus-filled lesions across the body. Yeah, it's a nasty thing, man. What the scriptures talks about um, in the last days, um, Yahweh spoke of um, um, pestilence being out here as well. So don't get me wrong, you know, it's shit out here, don't get me wrong. But we also know that Esau Edom. Hey, he, he's in control of these things, man. This man, hey, he has all kinds of labs all over the world. All over the world where they, they just be playing with shit, man. Matthew 24 and 3. Let's start there. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, and, and the true name is, uh, of the Lord is Yahweh Shai. You know, I, we, you know, we use the, the true name of the, of the father and son, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And they are two separate entities. They're not the same. You have the father. A father can't be a son and the son can't be the father. That's common sense in itself. But that seems to be a, um, a big thing amongst Israel right now with some of these camps. Um, but the letter J was invented in 1524 by um, a grammarian named um, Tresino. Yep. Uh, a grammarian named um, Tresino. And um, he invented that letter or that the sound of it, you know, in, in 1524. So there was no letter J when the Lord walked the earth. So you have to get a, even that's crafty counsel from um, Esau. You got to get away from um, that Jesus crap because that's idolatry. When you really go into the scriptures and it's really simple, too. It's really idolatry because nowhere where in the scriptures do um, it describes the Lord as being a blonde haired, blue eyed white guy, first off. Then we can explain. We we're clearly all you got to do is Google when was the letter J invented. You're going to see that it was invented in 1524, 500 years ago. So if it was, you know, if the letter is only 500 years old, and the Lord walked the earth 2,000 years ago, you, you ought to question yourself and say, well, hey, well, all right, well, there was no letter J then. So where do we get this Jesus stuff from? And there's other breakdowns on it. Brothers have done breakdowns on the name, but there was no letter J when the Lord walked the earth. And then when you look in the Greek. It was a transliteration of his name, which is Iesus or Iesus. The Lord is not a Greek man. He wasn't Greek. He was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Yahweh or Judah or what they would say, because there was no letter, letter J. The original name of the tribe of Judah is Yahweh. So he was a he was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Yahweh. And his name was Yahweh Shai. When you go up into the name that Gabriel gave for them to name him. And it's really simple. You just got to look things up, man, because, that, again, that's crafty counsel. And a lot of our people, the northern kingdoms that are listening to this guy, the pope, they'll listen to him because they're so familiar. Now, they'll, they'll actually say um, Asus or whatever they call him. They don't say they generally don't say Jesus. They generally will use the Greek transliteration, um, Asus or whatever. 
but they're so in, in, embedded into it and so saturated with that, that, that shit. They got that shit all over their houses. You know, you, you, you can ride by, um, matter of fact, you can walk, ride by Issachar or you'll see Issachar at a, at a stoplight or something like that. And he got that shit all on the dashboards. Rose be, rosary beads hanging off the damn uh, river mirror. Uh, 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 probably a Bible open to Psalms 23 in the back of the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the window seal or whatever. You know, they're real strong and heavy into um, that Mother Mary spirit, man. That, and, that, and it's real idolatry that our people really have to get away from. Because, see, it's nothing for this man to say, hey, you guys, you know, he can just give an order, basically. And they're going to go out and listen to him. So what's the next step? He can give an order when, when, when the, the MOTB comes out and people are lined up and get to going and getting that shit, man. Not knowing no better because they're not reading the scriptures. That's why, they, uh, again, the Bible says, blesses the man that, that reads. And a lot of Christians don't read, man. They, 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 they pretty much, they kind of parrot what they hear, you know, and, and, and you know, they, they quote these, these, the most famous of your scriptures, of course, John 3, 16. You know, well, you'll hear these Christians, you know, they, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You know, you ain't getting no results. And the crazy part is too, though, a a a a the Lord uh, um allow Satan to, to to trick your ass like that for believing like that. But anyway, let's let's uh, move on because I want to get to the um, pestilence here. But this is some of the things that the Lord spoke of when the disciples asked him what would be happening before his coming. Uh, Matthew twenty four and four, and Yahweh shall answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach. Or the anointed one that you know verbatim in here it says Christ and shall deceive many. So the Pope, he's one of those ones that can deceive many because he has that um that stature. This man, man, hey, he, this man I got probably better protection than the president. Or 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 equally similar to. Like for real, like this, this I mean he 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 has worldwide status, man, of millions and millions and millions of people. Of all different nationalities at that. It says, um, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. What do we um you just you got this Hezbollah and um Israel um shooting back and forth between each other, I think um yesterday or the day before. That's starting to escalate. Then again, you gotta keep in mind this election that's coming up, man. This election it, it, with all the bullshit, you know, the bread and circus of the election, you know, you got your concerts going, because they're pretty much that's all they are. You know, especially with the Democrats, a damn concert. You just going to see a, a, a shitty concert with a bunch of damn black women standing around, you know what I'm saying, clapping and cheering for abortion rights. You know, that's pretty much it, man. But on the on the Republican side, they 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 doofy as hell. It's just it, it, it's like going to a white church. No movement, no rhythm, no no nothing. But anyway, you got that going on. Wars, rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. See, we're not to be troubled by these things, but these things trouble a lot of people. And we, we, we applaud it. You know, we know things are going to get rough. We're praying for the spirit to just be callous as shit, man, when it comes to this place. You know, just forget about it. Just leave everything behind, man. Verse 7. For a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence. And earthquakes in diverse places. All of these are the beginning of sorrows. It's been earthquakes all over the place. It's famines all over the place, especially in Gaza. Pestilence all in Gaza and other places. It's, it's famines and pestilence in these um these African nations that they're talking about. And see, Esau, he don't have no problems testing out shit on y'all nations, man. Yep, and that um that word nation goes off into ethnos. Ethnicities, basically. Kingdom, kingdom against kingdom. Let's get this word um, pestilence, though. It's uh, let me see. Strong's G three thousand sixty one. Loimas, Loimas. Okay, Loimas. Okay, uh, all right. G thirty sixty one. Up, um, pestilence, pestilent fellow, pest, a plague. See. Of a, a plague, literally the disease, or figuratively a pest. Yeah, man, a plague. Let's see though. Let me get a definition on the word plague. 
a contagious bacterial disease characterized by fever and delirium, typically with the formation of bubos, bubonic plague, and sometimes infections of the lungs. Uh, some of these similars. It says to afflict, uh, bedevil, damn, cause suffering to, torture, torment, trouble, beset, dog, curse, track. Okay. Well, they pretty much have an epidemic disease causing high rate of mortality. So, hey, I mean, it is what it is. And, and you know, um, Bill Gates and them, man, they over there. Of course, they, 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 I, I don't know how he ends up everywhere as if, as if he's the world doctor. I just don't get it. Uh, you know, he, 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 it's like, it's, it's as if he's in control of the world of medicine. You see what I'm saying? And that shit don't make no sense. But I mean, hey, what can you say? These are the places that they go to these these uh, darker racer countries. They see that they're already in, um, you know, in, 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 in the low. You know, they're already doing bad, so to speak. And then they come through. And then you just never know why they're even doing bad to begin with. Because Esau, hey, we're not ignorant of um, Satan's devices, man. Esau, we, we know this man test stuff, man. It, it's historic. It's his he has a history. He has a back background of testing stuff out on people, especially um, the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's why Jake didn't want to take that COV-19 um, um, jump shot right off the jump when they first came out with it because, you know, of course, the Tuskegee um, report came out, so to speak, you know, as far as them talking about how they tested um, syphilis on, on Jake and, and just a, a bunch of other places, man. They, they, they sterilize people. They do all kinds of stuff, man. And ain't, ain't, ain't no telling, man, what's really going on. You know, hey, we, see, we're just going to we're going to see everything in the kingdom. The Lord is going to show us every single piece of wickedness that these people have done to us, man. And that's probably what's going to kick in how we're really going to um, double up. The real backdrop of the shit that they was doing, the real plans, that's going to piss Jake off to the point of really putting the rods on the asses, man, in, in that captivity that they're going into. And that's pretty much where they're going, man. But let's go back, though. I mean, I seen this and I was like, you know, I, I'll just I didn't want to go too too graphic with it because you know how Esau get down. But yeah, man, that's a nasty looking um, hookup. But check this out, though. I seen this part of it. OK, this says this, this is a woman receiving um, the shot. Uh, the shots are readily available in over 70 countries, but in African countries such as the DRC, which has seen over 17,000 um, of the confirmed 18,000 cases, the shot is not easily available. To tackle the outbreak, 10,000 new vaccines are set to be donated by the United States. So the United, well, we already knew they had it, but they got it on deck. They got enough to actually give some away. They got that. Trust me, they're not giving away none and they don't have enough for you. You other 350 million um, Americans. But uh, trust me, they, they got them things on stock. <laughs> they got them on stock. And it's nothing for them to, you know, implement a law. You fuck around. And it's going to be up six feet distancing diapers back on your face. You know what I'm saying? You you, you can't come out <laughs> can't come out your house at this time. <laughs> Whatever the case may be, man. Okay. Uh instead they have been uh, reliant on donations of shots from wealthier nations. Okay. So so yeah, all the all the wealthier nations, which are, you know, them would be like your NATO nations, your EU nations. You know, you know, um Esau's uh, set up his society. Overall, man, he got them. He got them things on deck for y'all. It says if countries fear an outbreak in their own nation, international agencies fear the little shots. The vaccines, which are reaching the most affected countries, could soon dry up. So you know they got them boys in play, man. The Guardian reported that Africa CDC Central Central Disease Control Center or whatever said it needed 10 million doses. If the continent is to get grips with the outbreak. Helen Reeves, a member of the African um, CDC MPOX Emergency Committee, 
said it was really outrageous that Africa had again been left behind during a rush to secure vaccines, likening the situation what happened during the COV pandemic, right? The WHO asked manufacturers of the Mpox vaccine this month to submit information so it can receive an emergency license. It has urged countries to continue donating vaccines until the process. See? And so, hey, man, just be on the lookout, man. Just be aware. Yeah, that's all I wanted to pretty much do with this lesson. Because, you know, we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. And this man will get down on you. And, and, and it's just never can tell, man. We're just praying to you. How about Shimei Awasha for mercy? And, 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 and overall preparations, man. Try and be as prepared as we possibly can. You know, even though you, we, we go day to day with the Lord, we know that, you know, the Lord handle, handles our day to day bread and um, our day to day living and things of that nature, you know. But today he may give you some idea to prepare for something in the future. You know, you might have to, you know. So if you got some gas cans in the garage and you can afford some of this high ass gas, you may have to get you a, a can or two put on deck just in case, you know. Because generally that's a lot of stuff that pretty much people run through, man, when things get get hot. They hit them gas stations, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to get and then it's just chaotic anyway. You don't want to be dealing. You know, if you can afford to, you know, throw a couple more um foods in your house, you know what I'm saying? You got a freezer or you know, you know, just, you know, buy a couple extra things. Whatever you need, man. Get you some damn alcohol, some peroxide, whatever you, you know. Whatever you 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 deem fit, you know, by the spirit, man, to, to grab if you can. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. We don't um put our trust in it, though. You know what I'm saying? We we trust in Yahweh by But with things, so I have to use wisdom out here. But this is on Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Yeah, you're living in some some real um evil times, man. And um, New Living Translation says, "See, O uh, Salakia, says so. Be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but like, but like those who are wise. Make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. Yeah. Let me see. I want to get one more. Let me. Um, I'm on my other phone here on, to the side here. Let me get this. Uh, I want to get it in the. Let me see if they got it in the ERV version. Yeah, it says so. Be um, so. Be very careful how you live. Like live wisely, not like fools. Those are evil. Yeah, man. So. Just wanted to just touch on this because the scripture talks about being um being not ignorant of any matter, whether greater or small. So this may seem small, but a, this is a part of end days prophecies, man. We know what this is all leading up to because they're going to have to come with the scare. It just depends on which scare they're going to come with. They've been talking about, um you know, all these different man. It's been all they've been talking about all kinds of shit. All kinds of stuff, man, as far as um new Ways to make you feel without ease. I'll put it that way. It's ease as you know what I'm saying. Like, man, these people about to get down, man. So I just wanted to touch on this real quick, man. I pray that this lesson was edifying with that. Kwame Yashala, Nababa Boy.